Hey guys, just a few clips I'd like to share with you. Hunting rabbits over dogs is a great sport. It has two advantages, it gets you off the couch and out in the woods, and a few rabbits makes a good meal. So here's a few clips to get us started. Oh, here's a hefty rabbit for you. Uh, we shot one there about five minutes ago, and about five minutes after that, we got this fella. Dogs only started them probably about uh, 100 yards less than that from uh, where Mike shot his. And just up around the hill here and turned around behind me, Mike was down to the left of me, and he come right up through the valley here. And he stopped actually. And there's the result. Only big rabbit. And by the sounds of it, the dogs ran another one. So let's get this one going here. Why did this guy know how to play hide and seek? Two inches from his nose, with the gun on me hip, that's where I fired a shot. Just missed him. Never had a chance to put the gun to the shoulder. Only on the second shot is when I had the chance to put it up. Still never touched him. It was, I don't know about this rabbit. He had about 30 rounds, I guess. Mike will finally get him in the end. Humor. This is after a two and a half hour hunt. Uh, finally got him. Count had two shots. I think I fought ten before I nailed him. <laughs> but nevertheless, the fort ran for today. Giving the rabbit the room to run, sometimes it's a good thing. Let him come right out on the barns, just like there was nobody around. Good girls. Good girls. Good girls. Good girl Maggie. Good girl Pearl. Good girl Dix. Good girl Daisy. Good girls. So you wonder what uh, we do with some of the rabbit. 50 pounds of uh, meat we had deboned. Brother Mike deboned it. Done a great job on it. And uh, here it is in rabbit sausages. It's just the same as you would buy in a supermarket. There's not a dark meat. The, the store who done it up done a fantastic job with it. And let me tell you, I got a half eat even before they're cooked. For that good. <laughs>